Hello everyone, welcome to Northern Germany. We're on the city of Wolfsburg at the Volkswagen Arena. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bunda coming right up. It's Wolfsburg up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And here's the starting 11 for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And they kick off here. And the attacking options appear plentiful, but timely defending when it mattered. Lars Stindl. And he keeps going. Crossing opportunity. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Successfully cut out. Julian Weigel. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself on side. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. Christoph Kramer. It's with Weigel. Turam. Possession lost. That is how to apply the pressure. Arnold. Svanberg. Jakub Kaminski. Is it going to be? Oh, did so well to deny him. And taken short. Crossing into the middle. Now oh, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Baku. Lacroix. Well, they could run onto it here. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Julian Weigel. Now with Stindl. Turam. Well-timed tackle. 
doing well to keep possession. And a throw in for Borsburg. Maxence Lacroix. And now it's Ridley Baku. Yannick Gerhardt. Can they create something from here? Arnold. And very deftly cut out. Kramer. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Punching it clear. Yannick Gerhardt. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, oh, they've given him too much space. Terrific block. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. And now the delivery. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. He's driven in the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Arnold. Paolo Ottavio has it. Gerhardt. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And at this juncture, the referee blows the whistle for half-time here at the Volkswagen Arena. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. Plenty of support here. Turam. And here's Stindler. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Yannick Gerhardt. Baku. Arnold. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And thwarted there, following the cross. Arnold. Gerhardt. And saved by the keeper. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. 
Who can they pick out? Threat over for now, it seems. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Really good high press. It has to be! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Hoffman. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Lea. Now with Turam. Benzabaini. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And really pressing their opponents. Well, the stats confirm Wolfsburg's control of the ball so far and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Might be able to produce from this position. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And Wolfsburg sloppy in possession here. Hoffmann. Hoffmann. Well, not the touch on the ball he wanted, and a goal kick to come. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Baku for now Svanberg and he did well to cut it out that'll be a Wolfsburg ball and the substitution will occur now
the referee correctly decided to play advantage. Will it happen this time? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Arnold, it's there for him. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Good officiating, waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. Trying to pick out a teammate. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. 